Hey guys, welcome back to Funny Pet Videos. Today we'll be looking at two types of dog breeds, the Shih Tzu and the Cairn Terrier. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at their physical characteristics, personality, training, and general care to keep them happy and smiling. Let's begin with the Shih Tzu's appearance. The Shih Tzu is a snugly built little animal with a solid sound structure. It stands anywhere from 8 to 11 inches tall at the withers and can weigh 9 to 16 pounds. The muzzle is quite short with an undershot bite. The head is rounded and the eyes are quite prominent. The tail is curled up over the back. The gait is long and swift for such a small dog. The Shih Tzu is covered with luxuriant long straight hair. Its hair is double layered, full, dense and lush and grows long and straight past the feet. The Shih Tzu sheds very little, making it a good choice for people who have light allergies to fur. This double coat does require a fair amount of upkeep, especially if left long on these short dogs so that it sweeps the ground. The long, silky Shih Tzu coat comes in many colors that include black, black and white, gray and white, or red and white. Cairns are short and sturdy and always look like puppies. They stand at around 9 to 13 inches and weigh around 13 to 18 pounds. They have short legs and a longer body. Their tails are naturally short and stick upright. They have slightly wider heads than other terriers, which tend to be shorter and more narrow. The dog's coat, which is medium length, can be found in a variety of colors and is weather resistant, comprising of an abundant and harsh outer coat and close soft undercoat. The coat of the Cairn Terrier is harsh and specially designed to withstand unfavorable weather. This coat can be black, cream, wheaten, red, sandy, gray, or blended in any of these colors. Shih Tzu are renowned for their perky, happy be, temperaments. They're lively and friendly. Shih Tzu tend to get okay. along well with people of all ages and with good? other dogs, yeah. as well as other pets of different Listen. species. Listen. Rarely will yeah. you find a snippy yeah. okay. Shih Tzu, okay. but most are very okay. sweet. Affection is their dominant characteristic, and your lap is their favorite destination. They're happiest when they're with their family, giving and receiving attention. That being said, Shih Tzus are not total couch potatoes. They're alert and lively and may bark at newcomers in their home, but will be adjusted within moments of meeting them. Cairn Terriers are wonderfully friendly dogs. They're happy and cheerful and seem to truly enjoy meeting people. They're also all terrier, independent, tough, and alert. Like any dog of the breed, they place digging, barking, and chasing high on their list of Banjo, fun activities. They'll chase any small in animal, including the neighbor's cat, if given a chance. He's a good watchdog What's too, doing, and Harry? will announce any visitor. Oh, he's got it. Though independent, Mom, Cairns are devoted to their family and are happiest when they're part of their owner's daily lives. They like to be in the house, playing with the kids, following you room to room, joining you at the front door when you greet a friend. They're also known for being sensitive, they don't like to be scolded and get upset when you're not happy with them. <laughs> training a Shih Tzu can be easy if lots of praise and treats are included in their training. They tend to be stubborn, but once you make them realize that you're offering them treats for being obedient, they will generally come around quickly. Training should be started early and their training sessions should be short and interesting so that they show interest in their training and learn quickly. The Cairn Terrier characteristics make the breed not the easiest to train. Their stubbornness can quickly end a training session, especially if they have no respect for their own. Just like with any challenging breed, training a Cairn Terrier is going to take a lot of patience, determination, and dedication in learning even simple commands. Never give your pet harsh punishment during training. Cairn Terriers are known to be sensitive creatures and can develop anxiety or fear if treated poorly. Keep in mind that this breed is also very intelligent. Once they understand that you are in command, they'll be able to learn a new trick in no time at all. The Shih Tzu are not extremely active dogs. They're content to sit in your lap, wander around the house, play with their toys or run to the door to greet visitors. Their plush coat requires combing or brushing on alternate days and every day if it's kept longer. If you choose to grow their hair long, you will need to commit yourself to an intense grooming schedule. Their hair can get out of hand quickly. Cairns require a moderate amount of exercise and can adapt well to various living situations when given daily outings. They can thrive anywhere from a highlands farm to an urban high rise and are excellent all-around dogs. 
Training for dog sports provides an ideal outlet for their energy. As for grooming, Cairn Terriers are generally easy keepers, although weekly brushing and combing are recommended, as well as periodic hand stripping to maintain the coat's texture. Both breeds are very loving, easygoing, and make great companions for your family. Be sure to keep up with their exercise needs as it can affect their health. If you're thinking of getting one of these two breeds, know that you are in good hands picking either one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more of these videos. And let us know in the comments which you would choose and what breeds you would like to see next.